Hi everybody, welcome to Dandelion Cottage and Watercolor Wednesday. I'm Leslie Watkins. Today I have blooming in the garden some roses that I just noticed. These are the William Baffin shrub roses. Actually, they're climbers, I should say, and um, they're a little bit chewed up. We've got a, We've got a lot of gypsy moth activity going on all around the area, and um, you know, every so often there's a particularly bad year, and it looks like this year is going to be one of those years. So they're a little bit chewed up, but that's okay. That's not going to hurt the picture any, and. There are loads and loads of buds on the shrubs, so um, so I see a lot of um, roses in my future painting. So this is a, a very hardy climbing rose. Where I am, it's about a zone five, but I'm pretty sure that these will go right down to zone four. They come from Canada, and um, and not a lot of roses do particularly well in the colder temperatures but these are some of them and uh, and they're really lovely because they're big and showy and beautiful and I have them growing on a split rail fence near the bee yard which is very pretty so I thought what I would do today would be to make an entry into my rose journal Okay, and I showed you this in another video. This was a repurposed book that I found at a book fair. And I liked it because the cover had this very pretty fabric that has this rose design on it. And I just gutted the book and I turned it into a sketchbook. All right, and I haven't, I haven't actually used it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and make this my first entry and what I thought I would do is uh, just fill it with rose paintings and this this book actually is designed sort of like a, a traveler's notebook that you can slip the pages in and out so I'm going to go ahead and to make it a little bit easier I'm just going to pull this front page out and then put this aside with my paper clip. And I'm going to work right on here. And what I have is a number two pencil. I've got a watercolor brush. And then off to the side here, I have three colors. I've got yellow, red, and blue, just to keep it simple. And I'm just going to do a, just a quick, loose little sketch, just a kind of a warm up. Okay, so sometimes, you know, you just want to get a little bit of a uh, warm up in. And I'm ready for that today. So I just want to first check my settings, make sure that this is working okay. Facebook has been a little bit funny today, so I'm not even sure what's going on here. Hopefully you can see. Um, there we go. All right, good. All right, and I see Carol's here. Good morning, Carol. Nice to see you. Okay, we're in business. So there were a lot of um, stems I could have picked that had buds, but I just couldn't bring myself to cutting the buds yet. I want to, uh, since this is the first day that I've noticed that the, the rose was blooming, I just want to give it a chance to, to really flower out. Okay. 
Roses are also the subject in this month's watercolor card class. If any of you are interested in learning how to paint a rose, this is the perfect opportunity because it's actually a double class this month. So not only will I be showing you how to paint a rose, but I'm also going to be demonstrating how to create a rose pattern with um, chiaroscuro. And what I mean by that is uh, light and shade. So it's a, it's a really good lesson. And the Watercolor Card Club is a monthly subscription. You can cancel at any time. And you'll be joining a terrific group of painters at all different levels. It doesn't make a, any difference at all if you're, if you're just a beginner or if you are a experienced painter. It's a, it's a terrific group. There's a new subject every month and you get a card kit in the mail that will be used to uh, create some beautiful note cards with your um, subject. So as I said, this month is, is roses. And there is just, I think, about a week left to take part in this month, because I think today's the seventh. So, so subscription for the Rose Watercolor Card Club is closes on the 15th. So you're, I will, I will post all those links below after the video. I tried to get it up beforehand, but as I mentioned, Facebook seems to be having some kind of issues and it's not letting me post. So hopefully that will resolve by the time I'm done here today. Okay, so I'm just mixing up a, a little bit of a very pale pink, and I'm just going to kind of splash that around. This is just a quick, loose impression of these beautiful William Baffin roses, and I'm just going for the overall shape. I'm going to Add a, a little bit of yellow to the center. I'll do the same over here. Just kind of let that go. It's so nice to be working with flowers directly from the garden again. It's such a pleasure. I am I am so blessed to to live where I live. It's, it's just beautiful. And I have spent a lot of time getting my gardens together. And at this point, I can pretty much go out at any time for, throughout the year and find something wonderful to paint. And I hope that that you all are able to do something like that too. Now I know not everybody has their own gardens, but you can always go to the supermarket and pick up a bouquet of flowers throughout the year. Or you can even, even work from something in the produce island it, it could, or section. It could be fruit, vegetables, you name it. There's always something to paint. Just look out your window. Next month, I'm going to be offering a journal making workshop, and this is going to be how to how to create a, a very easy, very simple journal kind of slash portfolio that you can keep your watercolor paper painting safe and stored in, and. Um, something similar to the little book I just showed you, except that we'll be making it from scratch. So stay tuned for that. If you're interested in any of these things in my online classes or workshops, 
the Watercolor Card Club, and, and other special offers, please be sure to subscribe to Notes from Dandelion Cottage so I can keep you informed as to what's coming up. All right, so there's the beginning of my painting, and I, I like that. Now I can go in and develop it a little bit further. So I'm going to go back into my roses here and just let the watercolor kind of move around a bit. Do the same thing with my leaves. Now I can see from the way that the uh, the paint is moving on the paper that there must be some humidity out today because the uh, paper is taking a little bit longer to dry. And that's fine. It means I can take advantage of that to have some of these nice washy areas help me with the blending of the colors. There we go. Once you learn the basics of, of how to paint a rose, you are often running to designing your own decorative papers, backgrounds for projects. <coughs> Excuse me. You can make a beautiful note card to send somebody. I want to be sure to get some of these little toothed edges on my leaves. Just using the tip of my brush. Has anybody been out painting? Are there any plein air artists out there? And what do you have growing in your gardens? And, um, and by the way, there's also a uh, Facebook group called the Dandelion Cottage Paper Pals where you can post your projects, and we'd love to see what you're up to. And uh, if you're interested in the Paper Pal group, just let me know, and you will be invited to join us. Okay, now I think I want to get a little more color in the center of these flowers. <clears throat> there we go. And 
nice and rich. Now there are a couple of places here and there where I can just make out where the stems are. And the, the stem on this rose has a little bit of a red tinge to it. So I'm just going to get that started. And I want to increase these shadows a little bit. There we go. So <clears throat> I'm pretty much on my way here. I can move some of this paint around a little bit. There we go. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to add a little bit of blue to my red to get a nice rich red violet. Get some accents in here. Okay, and that's how I would get started with a quick sketch of some roses. So it doesn't take very long. It's just been a few minutes. I hope that gives you some idea of how you could get started with a nice little garden journal. Maybe you'd like to do one that features just roses, or maybe you have a, another favorite flower or maybe you just want to have yellow flowers anything you'd like to do and of course if you are someone who likes calligraphy you could combine it with your calligraphy or if you're a writer you could you could write something about the roses and keep a journal anyway it's it's all great fun and uh and I'm and I hope that I've given you a little bit of inspiration to get out there and enjoy nature and to do a little bit of paper crafting. So again, if you're interested in the Watercolor Card Club, please go to my website at dandeliancottagedesign.com and you'll find all the information there about both the Watercolor Card Club, um, how to subscribe to notes, and you'll also find some listings of my online classes. So I'd love to have you join us. Please like and subscribe my page. That way you can be notified of when I go live. And, uh, and I think that's about it for now. So if you do 
decide to do a little painting, I'd love to see what you do. Please post it on the uh, Dandelion Paper Pals page here on Facebook. Have a wonderful week. Stay well, stay happy, stay creative, and I will see you next time.